Welcome back to the channel and welcome to something a little bit new on my channel I wouldn't say a little bit new but another vlog Today's kind of vlog is going to be a setup video I'm building my best friend a PC as you guys can see here You guys can follow him on Instagram, links in the description down below It will also be up on the screen He's also starting a YouTube channel so I want you guys to go ahead and run up those likes I'll give you guys a link once he's completely made it and everything But um, the reason I'm doing this is obviously he's my best friend. We've been friends for over a decade now at this time and um, Why not give away something to the person or one of the persons who have been here since the beginning since since I started the channel Since I decided to do this one person who has been really helping me or supporting me through this entire time Wanted to help him up with his process and now he's got a PC something that he can work with and you guys are gonna see us on stream a lot um, I want to say thank you guys for all the love and all the support. Do me a solid. Go and run up his uh, subscribers, run up his followers on Instagram. And um, yeah, we'll be doing some stuff together soon. In today's vlog, you guys are going to see some of the stuff we got here. We got um, quite a bit of products. I'm going to be giving him today my old motherboard and processor. It's going to be a Ryzen 5 3600 as well as the... Um, MSI B450 Max, uh, Tomahawk Max motherboard. We also got um, a new storage drive. This is gonna be a WD Black 1000 terabyte hard drive. This will be able to boot his windows very, very quickly, uh, boot all the games very, very quickly and put the games on. Um, we'll be able to get a hard drive for him in a couple of months or so. And um, next we're gonna have the Corsair Vengeance RGB Pro SL. This is the super low um, I don't want to low clearance RAM. Um, it's pretty fast, especially optimized for Ryzen CPUs. Next, he's going to be getting my old graphics card. This is the RTS 2070 Super. That's what I started with. And I think this will be very public to use um, in his system. We're going to be all cooling the processor and everything with a Cooler Master, Master Liquid 240 V2. This is a nice RGB cooler. He's going to keep his processor nice and cool throughout this entire time. So, He's also going to get my old NZXT H110 case. So, um, hopefully you guys enjoy. Uh, anything you want to say? Uh, I'm glad to be here. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, let's start building up. So, we're going to first start with the storage drive, which we will do. We can get his uh, trusty knife. Let me not cut myself here. Wait, wait. How do I do this? <laughs> Let me not cut myself. All right away from me Boom. we got the Western digital black we, we can need something I don't know where it is but Western digital black this is a nice and quick storage drive here so we can do that is gonna go right here so I'm pushing it in so and then putting it down while I get the screw you say that right, but uh, huh? I said you say that right, but uh, right up here. See that? Yeah, yeah. Oh, instruction. Sorry, All right. Um, we need a screw. I know where it is. We found a screw <laughs> after a lot of digging around. But what we're gonna do here now? is you're gonna press this down, put the screw on here, and then you can just secure that onto there. Oh, here. You just, this is my neck like that? Barely. Barely my neck? Barely, yeah. All right, so this gate tight to. I should be able to get a little bit tight. Oh, 
this air fragile ish. And as fragile as you think, as people think. All right, so that's fully installed as the drive. The next thing we're gonna do is gonna be the RAM. This is a 32 gigabyte um, kit from Corsair. This is the Vengeance. I, as I told you guys earlier, this is the Corsair Vengeance RGB Pro. Um, it's gonna be 3200 megahertz. It's perfect for Ryzen 5, 3600. And um, you should be able to do everything. The reason we went with 32 gigabytes is because he is gonna be streaming and editing at the same time as well. This is for content creation and for content creation, um, 32 gigabytes is gonna be I would say this is gonna be a good part. I know a lot of people for gaming, you guys can just use six, uh, 16 gigabytes, but 32 gigabytes is perfect for editing any kind of content creation or anything like that. You guys get to see what the RAM sets look like right here. So the first thing we're gonna do is, if you guys see these slots right here, we're gonna push these back and then we're gonna slot them in. So right here. So you can line up the notch here with here. Get it, get it better. yeah, get it even pressure on either side. Push it down to your plate. There you go, and do that for all of them. All right, so that is gonna be it for the motherboard setup so far. So you guys can see the RAM sticks are fully installed, the drive is fully installed, and the processor is installed. Next thing we're gonna do here is we're gonna prepare for the what do you call it? We're gonna prepare for the <laughs> we're gonna prepare to put the cooler on. Um, and I don't know if this one where you need to prepare the motherboard beforehand, but we're gonna read the manual, we're gonna consult the manual first before we do anything else. So I'll bring you guys back once we have done that entire process. All right, y'all, so we took everything out. This is, as I said, the Cooler Master Master Liquid 240. This is a 240 millimeter AIO cooler with a pump on the side. So um, I'm kind of doing this by ear. We're gonna be reading the manual or consulting the manual for this. I'm pretty sure this has a back plate or it comes with a back plate, but we're gonna, we're gonna work on that. So this is a step here. Let's check those around. I think this one is the M4 bracket. All right guys, so around this time we started to get a couple of issues with the build. Um, the AIO cooler stuff wasn't a, a cooler style that I was familiar with from Cooler Master. I really don't like this, um, this style. Um, and in the recording that I got, we got a bunch of footage, which was just me kind of trying to figure out what was going on. So I'm not going to put that in the video, but you guys are going to get, and we also decided to switch the camera angle from being on a stand to being handheld. Um, the focus on the camera was a little bit wonky from time to time. So you will see the camera go out of focus from time to time, but I hope that doesn't take away from your viewing experience. But, um, I want to say thank you guys so far for watching through to the video. You can go ahead and um just subscribe to his channel like help me out here guys like i need you guys to go ahead and subscribe to his channel and get him a start you know to get him something that he can do to you know get him the motivation he needs to to continue doing youtube and stuff because i think um it's something that's not really done here in barbados at all and i think that we're probably going to be the first and the biggest ones to ever do it so um i want to be a trailblazer i want to be somebody to push that out there so hopefully you guys you know please help me out here and uh go ahead and run up his legs and subscriptions i mean all right so we're gonna prepare the case now we're gonna put start putting this into the case uh first i'm gonna have him install the io shoe so you can just take this and push it all to back to you here at clip so it's gonna be your, no the other side from the inside not that way turn it around That's right. just push it in. A little force. Yeah. All right. All good. So now, what you're gonna do here? You're gonna hold the motherboard here. You're gonna put it in there and try to match up these standoffs here, right here. 
with the screw points on the motherboard itself. Don't touch any water damage. Cool. Eh, you should be fine. Just take your time with it and then line up these here with the things on the back of the IO shield as well. There's so little room to play with, right? You can hold it right here. You got it. You can hold it right here. Put it in. These screws are not effed up. So now you're gonna put these screws in a star pattern. So you can start here, 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 and just screw it as much as possible. Oh, this is going to. I can try to give you the ones that are actually threading. And if the, mag if the magnetism isn't working per se, yeah? Yeah, it's not. Oh. Give me, let me replace that screw. I'll use this one here. I can try to give you better screws for those hard to reach ones. These are older screws that came with this motherboard, so. No, the magnet won't work. <laughs> uh, I was gonna give <laughs> so much issue, bro. That's not gonna lie. It's gonna give you so much issue. I struggled my first time, but you know, it's like, It'll work. Mm. Yeah. I don't think I've tried it properly. Yeah, I don't know. Do you want to different screw down for Nope. So you could just put those in right there. The placement? I ain't, I ain't got nothing to do with me. <laughs> you placed it. <laughs> Crazy art. This one gonna be the tough one. Oh. Right, try that. We do not have steady hands. This is why we're not surgeons. Yeah. Yeah. If it was a surgeon, somebody heart mess up. <laughs> Somebody ain't got no more heart. <laughs> That's for sure. <clears throat> All right, that one in, and then let's get a last one in here. For it. Peter. It wasn't until I started YouTube and I really realized how cruel it is for YouTubers. Motherboard fully installed. Magic. Next, I'm gonna go to the AI O. All right, so try to feed those, see the, um, the cables? Put the cables through the back while it pushes in. So, hold on. Actually, put the tree, thing for the tree, so we'll see. Two. 
voila. Go in here and let's secure this dome. All right, we secured the AIO to this. Okay, so now we could rest this back down. We could just pull the cable, that's fine. Now here's struggle part number two, putting the AIO on. First, first you need to do some thermal paste. So you can basically squeeze it out until it's like a nice little, let's see, just over the size of a pea, a, a, a little pea. You can squeeze it onto the middle there. So this is about the size of a pea or so. Try not to apply too much pressure though. Now you good, they, got, they barely got any in there, so you gotta you got push it. Yeah. It don't matter if it's too much because what you need is a good size. All right, put on some more. Some more. All right, that's it. Thing. Uh, put on a little bit more. Just a little bit. All right, that's it. So now we've already taken this off. Let's screw this back on. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to put on the cooler and it has to be on here tight. I'm gonna do this part on my, by myself. All right, let's put that on. Now let's get the pressure onto here. Now you see the other side? Um, so we gotta screw this on here. Moving around too much. Not my stomach, yeah. Hmm. Right. Let's see. Oh, the master got me struggling with this here. We are hot and sweaty, but it is worth it. Wait, I don't know how Wait, am I doing this right? There we go, I was going left to this the entire time. It's crazy. It is not threading. Why is it not threading? Why is it not threading? Come on, cooler. Bruh. This is why this is annoying. I'm gonna on this one. I hate this with putting on coolers. That's why I didn't buy a cooler master cooler. But, you know, we was on pressure for budget. So we had to do something. Fucking hell. Why does it take it so long? This ain't ready. All right, let me... All right, so next part of the process is to put on these fans. Um, these are just uh, some extra fans that I had laying around, so I decided to give him these. So we're gonna just feed these into the system here. Now we're gonna put up the, the top one. This is gonna be his exhaust. So we're gonna exhaust air to the top and exhaust air to the back. So just for cable management, we're gonna feed these over the, behind the case here. Um, before I do that, I'm gonna look to see where I can plug this in because um, this is 
I'm gonna make sure that we have enough space for that. Um, what I think I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take this one here. So this is the one for the pump, which I think I'm gonna route this over here and plug it in to the pump header space on the motherboard over here. So let's put this onto here instead. Now I'm gonna put this over here, just hold that. And, uh, oh dear. Now, we're gonna screw the fan onto the top. So just hold, hold. All right. Hold that there. Get some screws here. Boom. All right, we got it covered. So, you screw it in. This can fit in? Yeah, it can fit. Don't worry, let me line it up properly. So these fans, he won't be able to um, configure. They're just stock red, I'm pretty sure. But I think his favorite color is red, so it wouldn't be that much of an issue. Um, it's not going to turn. It's going to turn at all. Let me try this one. Try that. These are older screws, so some of the threads aren't working. Um, so we're going to just see what we can do here with these. I told you these are these are pretty older parts, so um, we might have some issues putting them in. So let me try the other one. The other screwdriver. Where is? I think it's screwdriver, but it's really the flathead. There you go. All right, try that one instead. That one should do anything. Here. We did a little bit of cable management back here. As you guys see, we routed all of the cables here. We plugged it into the Molex and the, the RGB controller. Um, it takes a Molex power cable, which I believe this power supply should supply or should have, hopefully. Let's see. Um, we did a little bit of cable management, try to get everything routed out over here properly so that we have everything nice and neat. So next we're gonna deal with the back fan. So I'm gonna just feed this into here as well. Let's, should I put that there? Or should I put this? Um, okay, I got an idea. here I don't I think instead of plugging this into the motherboard I think what we're gonna do we're gonna just use all Molex cables to power these fans just so that we can have proper cable management so right here we're just gonna put in this back fan and then I'll bring you guys back once we're finished first we're gonna connect the front panel connectors so this would be the USB 3, this is the HD audio, as well as the front panel connectors. Um, so right here, so what you can do, you can thread this up in here. All right, so right here, you pushing that in here, make sure that the, yeah, this way, make sure the words are up. that's for your audio pushing in somewhere all right that should be good there now the next thing is going to be USB 3 I'm gonna push this with this little notch here into here that's for the USB connection all right that's good and now this is gonna be front panel the front panel connectors let's see if i can figure out where it is i believe that is gfp1 so let's run this on any of here and this will go into here so that goes right here 
words up. Sorry. Right. And those are for these buttons and these things up here. So he can turn on the computer from here and stuff like that. So let's just make sure we route the cables properly. And then next thing is going to be the power supply. So as I told you guys before, we have the um, EVGA um, 850 watt power supply. Where's your knife? So the EVGA um, 850 watt power supply. Let's open this bad boy up. Let's see here. Let's open this up here. some cables this is the beefy boy this is gonna make sure that we get power to everything it's gonna be a semi modular power supply which means there's one cable that is gonna stay attached to the power supply throughout and then everything else we can only plug in as we need plug in cables as we need Out. Boom, we have the cables to attach it to the to the motherboard. Let's take the cables out here. Boom. And we don't need this anymore. So now we have these cables here. We have a Molex cable. It's gonna be very, very important for us to keep the Molex cable. So Here's what we're gonna need. We need VGA for our graphics card. So this is VGA graphics card. Then this is another VGA, so we don't need that one. Um, VGA, we don't need that. All right, these are all VGA looks like. a graphics card so we have one vga we got the power cable then we have peripherals and cpu so this it will be for the so this is peripherals this is going to be for the molex connectors that we have we'll daisy chain them here then we have um the cpu cable this is the power the the, the CPU underneath and we don't need two of them. We only need one. And then the last one, this is for our SATA for when he gets hard drives, but we're not going to add, we're not going to put this in right now because we don't have any SATA drives in the, in the system as yet. So this is all we need. And then the motherboard cable is already pre-connected. So we have no issues with that. So now what we're going to do is we're going to plug everything in to the power supply first. So here, you can use the ones at the top, right? You can plug this side. So this is VGA. You put it into VGA. So VGA1. Just plug that in. Right. And now CPU. This side, plug it in here. And then peripherals, put that in here. Just want some this twisted, I guess. Yeah. All right. And now we've done with prepping the. I'm not doing that. We're really done with prepping the the power supply. So what we're gonna do now? We're gonna move this aside here and prepare to put it inside of the system. Now, when you're putting a power supply in, you put it towards a fan, so the fan will be down, so that um, because of how the cases are, they have these 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 dust filters and stuff on the bottom where you can pull air into the system. So you're gonna put, you're gonna slide the motherboard in. I'm gonna, not motherboard. 
we're gonna slide the power supply in like this all the cables are at the back here let's just put that up there all right i'm gonna put this in here so now right here we're gonna use these screws and we're gonna secure the power supply to the case so screwdriver so first one uh let's use let's use here Well, well, you can do it. This is caribbean heat right now. This is definitely caribbean heat. Oh. Y'all think y'all bad in California? Ooh, the heat is getting worse. Kelly. All right, so we got everything plugged in. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna put in all of the peripherals. So that would be the hub, the fans, everything. So first thing, this is Molex. I'm gonna plug this into here. So, I guess I'm trying to figure out which one. I think it's this one, right? This one. I'm gonna plug this into the device. All right. All right, plug that in there. These two now. You plug it into these sections here. This is for the fans. These both fit into each other? Yeah, not safe. Let's see. L or L. Yeah, a little tough. A little bit too? Yeah. Just a little bit. We can't remember. I think it's a lot of a gym. Is it connections? Connections fuck up? Yeah, it forgot. Yeah. Right. We could we can figure something out that. Try that. Try this one here. So that's finished. We can, we can figure out the cable management later. Now the big boy. Let's turn this bad boy around. We're gonna do CPU first, actually. This is a CPU cable. Yes, no, maybe so, no, that's the GPU. All right. We're gonna do CPU first. So the CPU now is gonna be, we're gonna feed it through up here 
is a very, very tight fit. And if you come around, if I can keep that together. Okay, if you come around this way, you can do no, you can plug this into there. You can plug this into there with these here on top. So like this. Tight fit. Yeah. If you want me to do it, because I got smaller hands. pin cable this one so let's see what's the best place to put this all right that side all right now this cable here this is going into here with this part being on top like this so you plug it in like this this big piece here GA, we can just feed it through the front so that when we do put the graphics card in, it'll be a simple process, which I think that's the last part. We're pretty much finished with most of the build. Um, CPU coolers and CPUs in, the storage drive is in, fans are in, and um, everything is pretty much plugged up. The last part is the graphics card, which is the big boy. So you're gonna put that, that one in now, I'll be I'm gonna go and get that, the graphics card right there, that one. Yeah. So now what you're doing is, you know, this is already in, oh, right? So here you plug in this part here into here, while at the same time getting these two pieces into here. And you're fitting this here into these two holes as well. <laughs> so. so but focus on lighting it up here first. Push it all the way down to your clip. There we go. Yeah. All right, now that's in. All right, just hold it there. I gotta get these screws. All right, so moment of truth, we fully assembled it. I'm gonna just show you guys real quick uh, how it looks. So we fully assembled it. I'm gonna give him the chance now to turn it on We'll get a moment of truth, see if we can get it to pulse. Um, what I am going to do is, where did I put that flash drive? My gosh. I have a Windows 11 boot sequence on here, or boot on here, which I will plug into the back here. We're gonna plug a keyboard and mouse. So let's grab my mouse and my keyboard. I'm gonna have to take so much off. All right. So I'll bring you guys back once I've done that. I'm gonna take my keyboard and mouse, plug it into here, and whichever monitor, I plugged in the monitor already, but whichever monitor is the one that it brings up to, then that's the one we will use for now. But let's, let's, let's start this process. So everything is now assembled and everything is now together. We're gonna see if it works now. Let's, let's see if it boots. Um, yes, fingers crossed. I'm just gonna make sure that everything is together. Okay. Now, let's see how this works. Moment of truth, we're gonna turn it on. I'm gonna let you turn it on. Let's turn on the power supply here. 
Boom. Let's see here now. Alright, we got some lights. Let's see here. And let's check the monitor over here. I don't know which one it is. I don't know which one it is. I see a red. Like, going like that. Do we get a post? Do we get a post? I'm seeing a light on the CPU. That's not good. That is not good. Alright. Let's see here. Troubleshooting time. See what that light means. So there's a red light going on right here. This means there's something wrong with the CPU. Everything else seemed to be working, but something is wrong. Which we gotta figure it out. We're gonna figure it out. Alright, y'all. Uh so after quite some time, it's about uh 2:25. <sighs> we ran into a lot of issues with it. Um, currently, we're having an issue with the RAM sticks. Uh, you can see the RAM LED button is on right now. Um, only one stick is working at a time, so it makes me feel like the motherboard, something is wrong with the motherboard, which I'm going to have to go into more detail about it. But so far, we got it to boot. Um, we've installed Windows on it. Uh, we had to update the BIOS as well. So once we get, I'm going to head over by his house and we're going to try to get all of this finished before I have to go out. But um, so far, you guys can see, look at how it looks. GPU is working, cooler and everything is working. CPU is working. Actually, before the CPU um, stopped working first, it wasn't working. And that was because I needed to do a BIOS update. We updated a BIOS and um, now, yeah, we just trying to fix this ram issue hopefully it's, it'll be fixed soon but um thank you guys for watching thank you guys for being here i'm sure you're gonna love this channel love the content that we'll be producing on it um remember to go ahead and follow him on instagram run up the likes on our subscribers on his channel once we put the link down there and um yeah hopefully you guys enjoy anything else <laughs> hope to see you soon yeah so we'll see you guys soon peace out Motherfucker, I've been modified, 45, fitting like a motor car. I ain't regular, feel like Jordan wearing 45. Traumatized, victimized, seen some of my niggas die. Knock you off a base with a bat when them niggas slide. Homicide, genocide, televised, emphasize, perpetuating war. Tell that nigga he gon' pick a side. Hood ties from hood lines, my niggas doing dope lines. I'm running to the cops, that's a big exercise. Uh, the running to the cops, that's the motto. I don't see it coming to an end like Legato. Get chipped like Cicado, send a wave through the hood. Now